I, as a kid who grew up in St. Cloud, Minnesota, at 68 years old, standing in front of some of you guys that I've known for a long time, can't believe how damn lucky I am. On August 28, 2012, Ron Fowler officially became the executive chairman of the San Diego Padres. The kid from St. Cloud grew up with a passion for sports, especially baseball. He loved to compete. It was 1962 that I got hurt and stopped playing baseball. That's 50 years ago, and it's like, so when I started talking, it's like, couldn't believe it. So that's why I got a little emotional. It's like, wow. The game of baseball starts anew every spring, and Ron Fowler got his own clean slate and fresh start. I thought I could play baseball at, at Division One level, so I was hoping to do that. And uh, when that was over, my uh, mother, who was a very uh, a good Catholic, uh, said, well, we'll, go to St. John's. And I said, <laughs> frankly, it was too close to home. I said I w wanted to go away, so uh, I went to St. Thomas, and uh, I loved it. He left St. Thomas in 1966 with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Well, I was a, a prime example of uh, education being the great equalizer. College and graduate school built the foundation for me so that I could uh, be able to do a lot more than I ever imagined uh, coming out of high school. Coming out of college, his job offers included General Mills, Pillsbury, and Hams. When I evaluated all the opportunities, I thought Hams uh, created more uh, upward mobility uh, more quickly, and frankly, I thought beer was a lot more fun than cake mixes. Since then, Fowler has managed or owned several breweries or beer distributorships, starting in 1978 with Mesa Distributing in San Diego. That grew into Liquid Investments, a business he still runs today. I was a Miller guy competing with Anheuser-Busch most of my life. And in most markets, they outshared us by about two and a half to one. It's like, how was I going to compete with them? And you couldn't do it by doing it the way they did it. You have to figure out another way to do it. And you have to work a little harder and be more creative and probably take more risks. But that's what's fun. My dad is not a pussycat. <laughs> oh, come on. My daughter said that. Allison should know. She's been working with and for him for the last 14 years. He is a bold man with conviction and he goes after it. He is never afraid to stir things up if you know it's for the right purpose. He has a lot of courage and conviction and I really admire that about him. Those traits, that success story, allowed Fowler to be a philanthropist and social entrepreneur. It's basically taking the qualities of entrepreneurship and frankly t taking it and trying to help people in a very uh, in the most affordable, most cost-effective manner. I think you could walk down the street in San Diego and be amazed at how many people know Ron, how many people uh, respect Ron. I'd equate it to walking down the street with Jimmy Stewart in uh, It's a Wonderful Life in Bedford Falls. To whom much is given, much is expected, is a Fowler mantra. The Fowler Baseball Park at the University of San Diego And at the University of St. Thomas, Woo! the Fowler Veranda in O'Shaughnessy Stadium. And scholarships to would-be entrepreneurs who compete in the Fowler Business Challenge. To all the winners, congratulations, you were spectacular. Ten grand apiece, so it, it paid for our entire last semester of school and allowed us to take the money that we would have spent on that tuition and put it toward our business and actually launch it off the ground. Clot it a new product to stop bleeding in animals, and eventually humans, is a result of the 2010 award to Michael and Susan Ouellette. He keeps checking in on us to see how we're doing, and he actually asked us to give him the first product that came off the line when we started producing it, and so we did. You go and listen to these kids, and you listen to their ideas, and uh, their energy and their passion for their thoughts, or you know what they've come up with, their concepts. Uh, it, it's, it's contagious. Okay. Thank you so much. From his civic and business roles in San Diego, Fowler is part of the city's fabric. 
relishing the role of the old guy in the game. It's a matter of giving back so that each generation builds on the generation before them and I think that's uh, when you get to be my age that's something that's probably more important or more enjoyable than most anything else you do.